No tears. You bring the whole room down. Abby Lee's crying studio. Why are you ripping your hair? <laughs> right now. She was frozen on stage. Oh, I worked so hard on this dance. I want to go again. Can I please go again? Jalen's solo is unlike any other routine at this competition. I just hope that he can make his costume changes because with this performance, we can win. All right, up next in the junior solo division, we have Jalen with working nine to five. Jalen couldn't get the costume change done, and he's off the music. This is not good. Even after all of the special time that we made for Jalen to rehearse the costume changes, he still misses it. What are you talking about? I'm sure that he's taking this slip up really hard. He needs to just move on because he finished strong. It's possible that the judges won't even notice. You still knocked it out the box like a performer is supposed to do. No one didn't know that wasn't in your routine. It is not your fault. Because I want to do good. Listen, I know you, you did. do. You didn't do good. You did great. Man, yeah, that's OK. That's all right. Jalen's lesson to be learned today was never storm off stage, never let them see you sweat. All right, girls, guys, big crowd, obviously great dancers. That's good. That sets the bar for you guys. All eyes are on you all the time. Always. You have to perform to the music. If you have to fight him, you look like you're fighting him. If you have to be in love with him, you look like you're in love with him. That's all I want you to do. Can you do it? Yeah. Brynn, you can. You're good at this. You've been doing this since you were two years old. I don't know why you're doubting yourself all of a sudden. No, it's just sad. Can you just show my head pieces? Okay. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? You are good? You're really yes. good? Or you are sure? Mm -hmm. You can? Yes. Yeah. Brynn didn't want to do this duet from the get-go. She spent the day crying in the bathroom. And now Yachty is looking a little bit nervous. Maybe this duet is doomed. So Brynn is better about the choreography now? She's fine. She's ready to go. Good. Because, you know, Brynn had a pouty face the entire rehearsal. She was unhappy. And the last time, you pulled Kendall from the number when she was unhappy for a, a better reason, I think. Well, I think they all need a good swift kick in the bottom. OK, then why didn't you give Brynn a swift kick I in the bottom? I did. I went in the bathroom and said, get out. Let's go. No, you didn't. You enabled it. I mean, come on, Abby. You think it's OK that she was hiding in the bathroom yesterday? You're justifying it. You don't know what was said in that bathroom. You have no clue. Why would I open up and let you know what's going on with my kid? You're the only one that consistently is rude to her, and nobody says anything. No one was rude to your child. She was. No, she was not. You stood there and mocked her for crying, and she was no. standing no. there. Right no, there. I said she should come and practice the group dance with the rest of the team You're that absolutely she's on. You're right. That's what I was doing. I know it wasn't right. your place. I know it right. wasn't your place. It wasn't your place. I care not about the team. Not your kid. You don't care not about your the team. Kid. Keep that nose away from her. Hey, Brynn, you guys are going to be really good. Oh, Are you okay? Yeah. Estás seguro? Dime qué es lo que pasa. 
tú lo quieras hacer. Yari is nervous. I understand this has been a stressful week, but Yari cannot pull out of this duet because I need him. Um, the girl, she no one like Rin? Yeah. Oh, she needs to do it. But she no one. They should do it. They're doing it. I can go try to make my 12-year-old dance. Oh God, yeah, I don't know. All these kids in here are waiting. Everyone's waiting. Ridiculous. Can I talk to you? Remember when you're crying in the bathroom and everybody attacked you? They're going to attack you over not doing it again. He says he's good to go. They said you didn't want to do it. What? They said you were the one that didn't want to dance. No. That never happened. That never happened. The moms were saying that? that? that yeah. Never that no. never happened. That's ridiculous that they were saying that I didn't want to do it. No, 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 no. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's it just got life. miscommunicated, OK? There's a whole audience of people waiting. His mom came back and said that she, it was her that she didn't want to do. It. It's not my thing. She never said that. Right. That never happened. There's a lot of confusion about Bryn and Yachty dancing. I got the facts. And just to clarify for everyone, Bryn was ready to dance. Yachty, he was too nervous to dance. And words got twisted. And I think the moms were a little overboard in attacking Bryn so quickly. You're dancing right now. Get ready. Places. Calm down. You are going to make yourself sick, sweetheart. Suck it up right now. Pull it together. OK. Please welcome to the stage entry number 25, Scary Sweetheart. Since I met you, all I can in every direction is love. You've got me lost in love. <laughs> such a bitch. No matter what the moms say, I couldn't have asked for Brynn to do any better. I was so proud of her. These moms are trying to make me leave, make me quit, make me give up, but Brynn and I are both a lot tougher than we look. First up is our elite teen duet trio. Kendall and Brynn were given duets this week to challenge them as performers. But yet, this whole entire week was a challenge because all the moms fighting and bickering and the screaming and the yelling and the tears and the crying have an effect on these girls. And the sooner they realize that, the better off their kids are going to be. In fourth place. Entry number 25. Fourth is always disappointing. Nobody ever goes out because they want to win fourth place. It's hard for Brynn to have her best performances when there's so much drama going on with the moms. She's never going to be on the dancer she can be if she's constantly having adults make her doubt herself and doubt her talent. <laughs> the two of you, you want to explain what happened backstage? It's miscommunication because everyone said that I didn't want to dance, which is all lies. I would dance. I would always do it. I love the conspiracy. I love it. It's not a conspiracy. It's the opposite. But the mother told us differently. The mother. So she doesn't know the difference between boy and girl. That's what y'all are saying. Right. Uh huh. That's good. Throw her under the bus. I hope you guys feel really good doing this to her. You know? Does it feel good, Joe? Does it feel good, Jess? I know. I know. It's always, listen, I'm leaving the premises because I am not responsible for your kid crying all the time. You did it to her. I'm not going to be a part of this. Come on, Jojo. Come on, Kendall. Come on, Kendall. Cry it out. Abby Lee crying, crying studio. Let's go. Abby Lee's crying studio. If you want to learn how to cry, come here to the studio. And now, without further ado, I am about to present the members of the award-winning Abby Lee Dance Company, 
are you doing out there? It was like bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da bum. It was like a contagion getting to that hit. Part I told you to work on didn't get any better. And the ending that has to really be impressive. Once you hit the note, the music, boom, don't move. Come on, let's go. Chloe is playing the role that Maddie usually has. She better step it up because that role is important and this number is beautiful. When you get out there, you need to convince everybody in that audience that you are homeless. This is your moment, make it your moment. I kind of felt a lot of pressure for Trout because I just got selected for the lead role. I only had a little bit of time to rehearse it, so I didn't want to be the one to mess up. Let's do it. We're having an issue. What's the matter, Kendall? I need to get ready. <laughs> Settle like down. I know you're tired. We're all tired, no, sweetheart. No, and it's important to you. What? Why are you ripping your hair? I need to right now. It's I need to get dressed. When you talk about the pressure between me and Maddie, it's kind of different, but not really different. There's pressure on Maddie because she's won all season long, and there's a lot of pressure on me because I have to prove that I can do it as well. We're at Nationals. This is our last competition. I really want Chloe to win a crown. She deserves it. Competing next is number one, zero, zero, six. Another season. solo and she's doing an amazing job. She's really just nailing everything. And then we're getting to the end and it was the last eight count. She was frozen on stage and Chloe reads like a book. She can't cover that up. And I'm sitting there and I just wanted to run up and grab her and give her a hug and run her off stage. But you can't do that. I was very surprised by Chloe. She knows what it looks like when someone forgets their dance. She knows how awful that is. So why she didn't just run around in a circle and arabesque saute off the stage, I will never know. Okay. You want to make me cry? I was just upset and confused why I did that. I just cried. I guess everyone cries when you pause on stage. <laughs> She's a little girl. Mistakes happen. You know, we all can't be perfect. I, I couldn't be prouder of you. Even if you had the world's biggest crown, I wouldn't be any prouder than you than I am right now, okay? I'll let you live with us still. Okay. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Uh, uh, yeah, we need to start going through it with the music and no talking. Faces, eyeballs. This routine could be epic, but one little thing goes wrong, the fairest of them all plummets to the ground. Oh, my lord. It makes me nervous. <laughs> Woo! I'm going to be so nervous, I, I might not be in the theater. Eliana, go out on that stage and prove that you have something that the ALDC will benefit from you being on this team. Understood? All right, let's go. Remember, when you're out there, it's technique coupled with performance quality. And just lay it all out on the floor. OK, are you OK? I just want to go because we're going on right now, so. OK, go straight. My stomach is turning around in circles right now. The junior elites have been on a winning streak, so if this group does not win, then it's solely Eliana's fault. The pressure 
is probably the largest amount of pressure she has experienced. Please welcome our next entry, fairest of them all. Yolanda is seeing firsthand what happens when you put a nine-year-old in with seasoned dancers. And in first place. Number 43, Paris of the Mall. We won, but this doesn't mean that every week the older girls should be backup dancers to the minis. But our streak is still alive, and that's what counts. Eliana, were you crying backstage? A little bit. I was starting to, but then I stopped myself I hate that crap. That is little kid crap. When you're in that room with Abby, you have a look on your face like you want her approval. You don't need her approval. You need his. Go show them how fabulous you are. I think at this point, my biggest concern for Paige is I want her to get on stage. <laughs> she told me I'm terrified for Abby to watch me dance. Next to the powerhouse stage is act number 75. This is an 18 contemporary solo. I just really want Paige to go up on the stage and show Abby I am amazing. You're gonna be great. Listen to your music. Trust yourself, honey. Trust yourself. The one. She was gonna forget it and run off the stage. Her mother doesn't bring her to class. So this all goes back to Kelly. It's her fault. She is scared to death of her dance teacher. No, I'm in trouble. No, you're not gonna get in trouble, Paige, because guess what? She's not your teacher. She didn't teach you. She's horrible. And you're trying to do your best for her? We're all crazy. When Paige came off the stage, she said, all I wanted to do was show her that I could do this. And I couldn't, because she scared me. It's not her style. It's not her forte. Yeah. 
to her when I was, I did not choreograph that, so I would never do that for Jane. Paige is a wreck, and I just feel like this is the worst thing that could have happened. And I hope that Abby doesn't take it out on Paige. I mean, the kid's only human. Abby, are my girls in the group dance? Kelly, you brought in choreographers. This is not about your children. This is about you. You need to play by my rules. I asked for choreography that was what my kids can do. Well, I wanted you know them to be challenged. Right. Not I say am the I best wanted thing Ricky. for Paige. Okay. I am the best thing okay. for Paige. But guess you know what? what? She had a gorgeous costume. Okay. She was doing a can can. You're and Paige would have done it. She okay. would have went out on that stage. And I know and that. She looked gorgeous. I know that. But yeah, guess what? My daughter was a wreck all freaking week. And now my kid is having attacks because she is afraid of you and afraid of what you're going to do to her. And you're allowing this with the relationship that you had with my kids and me. OK. Understood. I'm hearing you. And it breaks my heart. It is horrible. Kelly, you have driven the wedge between your children and myself. You no, know, Abby. Yes. The things you say to them has no. driven the wedge. No. And it's not me. I would never allow this to happen. It's not me. <laughs> Seeing Kelly break down in a competition like this really disturbs me. When I look at Kelly, I don't see the mom of two dancers in my company. I see my own student when she was 12 or 13 years old, crying her eyeballs out. That's when she stopped dancing. And I think Kelly could have had a great future. I just hope she doesn't do the same thing to her two girls. You have to trust me. The dance that I had planned for you, you could do. You need to trust that when I put you out on that stage, it's not to fail. My job is to make every kid that leaves my studio that wants to be a professional dancer ready. Understand? I do want to dance for Abby. I've known her my whole life. I know that she can be really mean and tough, but I love to dance and I want to get better. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Geek gets the girl. If you just got to know me, but that's something I can't foresee. I'm a sensitive person. My light seems to worsen. Won't you open your eyes to love someone like me? Someone. Number 43, Brady and Presley with Geek Gets the Girl. The lift was really bad. Was no, it was not. Over the back. Okay, over the back. And we were too far forward. Over the back and is the only thing. we hit on the aerial. I didn't see that. It's fine. We made a mistake. It's funny because I'm a geek like, and I don't know what I'm doing. It wasn't your fault, it was mine. I can't breathe. I'm not so sure that picking Brady was the best choice for you. His level of difficulty is up here. And every time you turn, it's clumsy. I'm just going to use that word. Yes? I think I was too close to Brady before we started the one lift where I bobbled. And I just think that that messed me up for the rest of the dance. So what do you learn from that? I'm just upset with myself, because I know I could do better. And I did it right in rehearsal, and I just don't know why I didn't do it right on stage. I'm just upset with myself. No tears. You bring the whole room down, and everybody has to come over and hug you, and it's a big pity party. It's over. Learn from it and move on. And your highest duo trio of the entire day. The girl from Abby Lee Dance Company. Na, 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 na. <laughs> I picked the right person and I'm happy that I picked Brady. Smart cookie. Hello? Hi, is this Christy? Yes, it is. 
Davis. This is Davis Robertson from the Joffrey Ballet School. How are you doing? I'm well. How are you? I wanted to take the time to call you personally and let you know that uh, we want to offer Chloe a scholarship for the summer. She was at the top of our list. Oh, thank uh, in, you. In oh my gosh, that's amazing. Thank you. I think Chloe is excited to have that opportunity, but I really think that Chloe is trying hard not to show it because the other little girls in the room wanted that as well, and she didn't want to hurt anybody else's feelings. Uh, I really do believe that she has uh, got the potential to be just a beautiful ballerina, oh. and uh, we would like to assist in making that happen. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. You are very welcome. We'll be seeing you soon. Joy, take care. All right, take care. You're being a brat. Don't even, no, walk away from me. Please, uh, I want to organize. Get back here right now. Get back here. Now, get back here. Madison, get back here. Your phone is going away. I feel really upset that Chloe got a call from the Drawfrey Ballet School. I think I kind of deserve Stop to be it. on top. Stop it. Guess what? Five days. 10 days now. No. 10 days, Maddie can't have her phone. I know exactly how that little girl was feeling, and I know that she wants the Joffrey scholarship as much as anyone else, and I know she's thinking, my shot's out the window, it's all Chloe. Even though these girls are such good friends, they are really, really fierce competitors. Maddie? No, Maddie. Maddie, come here, I have to tell you something. Now, one more, if you don't come back here in five seconds, it's gonna be 15 days. Maddie is really stressed out because she was disappointed but I won't put up with a bratty kid. She just needs to reach deep and down inside and just, you know, be thankful for what she has and don't, you just can't worry what other people think of you. You just keep doing what you're doing. Chloe, you look so look pretty. Insane. Okay, don't panic, don't panic. Judges, eye contact, suck them in right off the bat. Focus. Represent. The pressure I'm feeling this week is because I'm their national winner, so I don't want to let Miss Abby down. Number 890, open, ages 9 to 10, in my heart. forgot her solo, Abby didn't cry. Chloe forgot her solo, Abby didn't cry. Maddie forgets her solo, it's waterworks. Abby only cares about one person, and this is a blatant display of that. Tell her how it feels, Chloe, you did it too. And I just feel so bad, because I know exactly how it feels. Well, we've all done it by now. Nobody's perfect. Maddie, honey, you're so hard on yourself. You have to stop this, okay? Dance isn't that important, Maddie. But it's not your whole life. Well, it is your whole life, and it shouldn't be. This is way too much pressure. It's really hard when your daughter's crying, saying she's a failure, and she's nine years old. You're not a failure when you're nine years old. Not at all. And she kept saying, Abby's going to hate me. She's going to hate me. And it really breaks your heart. Abby's not going to hate you, Maddie. She thinks you hate her. <laughs> See, I told you she doesn't hate you. <laughs> See, Emmy loves you, Maddie Kay. She knows what a kid you are. You know what? Kids that still have something to shoot for and something to win, they're the ones that are working. She screwed up. <laughs> 
just like everybody else. But you know what? Maybe they won't all be vultures and be after her all the time now. I didn't see any tears from you, Abby, when my kid ran off the stage, OK? So point noted. It's a horrific. Care. I don't care. I know you don't care, and that's my point. There is a teacher who's sitting there having a pity party for herself because her student forgot a dance on stage. And other students, every other kid in that room has had that same experience. They all could have used a dance teacher who cared about them. Awards. I'll take you down. Gotta be supportive of your friends, so. Any child being on stage and forgetting no dance is a, it's humiliating. And it's happened to all and of us. And it's happened to everyone. But there she even said to Maddie, she said she didn't care. for a reason. And she didn't want any excuses. She could care less. Yeah, That's but there was told. not a tear shed for another child in this company. That's my issue. These are children. And you cry for whatever reason for one child and not the other. They all hurt the and, same. And the kids know. There's a double standard. It's a different system. It is not equal. Why don't you care that all the other kids forgot their dances, but you care for Maddie? Abby, for once, was speechless because she knew she was wrong. For once, someone called her on something, and she had nothing to say. Moms, it's awards. Thank you. Thank you. Ready to go. Thank you.